Step 1. Check the printing accessories and install Rein and printing software. After receiving the printer, please avoid direct sunlight. And the printer occupies about 4 meters squared. Please place the printer 1 meter away from the wall. Now, let's check the accessories list together. Open Network Settings and Change Adapter Options. Right-click on Ethernet Select TCP LIP4. Input the LP address. Click Save. And then we start to install the software. Unzip the two software. Install the RLP software first. Double silk the application program. Choose English. And then follow the install steps. Installation Rope Software Complete and then click the Control Software. Choose Application Program. Right-click and select Send Desktop Shortcut. Finished software installation. Don't forget to insert the RLP dongle in computer and then return to the desktop and select Rope Software. Step 2. Install ink. Let's go to the back of the printer with the ink. Put the ink into the corresponding ink cartridge. Ink and ink cartridges have corresponding color labels. Please do not pour the wrong. When loading white ink, please shake the ink vigorously before loading it to prevent the ink from settling. Then find the ink low alarm device on the ink cartridge and insert it into the corresponding slot. Then plug the power cord into the back of the printer and turn on the power. At this time, the printer starts and automatically starts resetting. The reset time lasts about 40 seconds. Find the network cable that comes with the printer and connect the interface to your computer. Start to check whether the printer functions normally. There are section, up and down buttons on the left side of the printer. <laughs> Click left and right on the printing software to test the movement of the printhead. Now let's connect the ink supply system to the printhead. This cable are for connecting here. As we can see, there is K, C, M, Y, LK, LC, LM, LY. So follow the position here to connect this cable. K is this one, K. When the six becomes zero, we insert the next one. Okay. Insert the next one. Amigo. See. 
Nói một sau được We can hear a bit sounds. When the sound stop, we take up this and insert it again to see whether the six becomes zero. If not, we insert again. Okay, now it's zero. We go to insert the next one. The next one is M. We take the red one, red cable, to insert. As we can hear, there is a sound. Now it's stop. We insert, re-insert. Okay, stop with reinsert. Now it's become zero. Go to the next one. To take the Y. We hear the sound again. Okay, stop. But it didn't become zero, so we reinsert it. And insert it. Okay, now it's zero. Let's go to the next one. V, which is this complete black, okay, to go to the next one. It's zero, so next one is white. With the white label, to see whether it becomes zero. If not, we will reinsert it. Okay, now. Take out and insert it to hear the sound. It didn't become zero, so take out and insert it. Now it's zero. Okay, good. Let's go to the next one. The last one. The last one depends on whether if you have the four spring head. If not, this will be finish without the last one. If we have the four spring hand for blue coating or special varnish, we will input or we will insert the last cable letters and wait it before it becomes zero. Then we finish the sub in tank cables connection. Okay, now we turn on the switch for the sub in tank. Step three install the print head. Prepare two cables and the print head. Please make sure the metal pins on the cable are neat and not messy or damaged. Please note that the metal side must face the metal side. Connect the cable to the print head flatly. If it is crooked or not properly connected, it will affect the use of the print head. Similarly, connect another cable to the other end of the print head. The print head and cable are connected. Then place the print head with the cable installed on the printer where the print head is. After placing it, install the screws to fix it and connect the ink tubes to the print heads one by one after installation. Then find the cable on the print head and the print head board behind the print head. The print head board has left and right marked on it so make sure you don't insert it in the wrong position. The left cable of the print head is plugged into the left of the print head board, and the right cable of the print head is plugged into the right of the print head board. Again, metal side must be inserted facing metal side. If you bend or insert the cable incorrectly, it will not work. Once done, let's turn on the UV printer. Find the ink press button on the printer, and press it for 5 to 8 seconds. Allow ink to flow back into the print head. Step 4. Print the print head status diagram. Prepare a test paper and turn on the section button to see the nozzle check status, especially to see white and varnish. The broken needle rate should not exceed 10%. Step 5. Convert the design to printing software. Open your design in Photoshop. Click the image button above, then select image size, where you can modify the image size you want to print. After modification, click OK. If you don't need to resize the image, skip this step. Then click the file, save as button in the upper left corner to save your design. 
Please note that Save as Type should be in TIFF format. Click Save. Close Photoshop and open Rian software. Right-click on a blank space, select Import Image, and find the design draft you just saved. Click OK. Then click the Print button in the upper left corner. If you want to reverse the image direction, click Forward Output. If you don't want to adjust, just click Print in the lower right corner. Select the location you want to save and click Save. When the progress bar reaches 100%, close the Rian software. Open the printing software. Click File in the upper left corner and find the design draft you just saved in Rian. Click Settings above to adjust the x-axis, y-axis and channel according to the location and effect you need to print. After Settings, return to the print page and click Print. The printer will start printing your design. Step 6. Turn off the printer. Close the printing software first. Then open the print head protection cover and close all secondary ink cartridges to prevent ink backflow. Finally, press the emergency button. At this point, the printer installation has been completed. If you have any questions, please contact the Giftec team in time.